How about him, Cowboy? Angry Cowboy Stan, I can tell the lie. What's going on, Cowboy Nation and angry Cowboy fans around the world? Y'all know who it is. It's your man, the Angry Cowboys fan, bringing y'all that 100% raw and uncut about our Dallas Cowboys. And I swear to y'all, First Take has been stepping in piles of crap all week. This segment's no different, Cowboys Nation. ESPN done messed around and done let Chad Ocho Cinco on first take. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but don't expect to go on there again, Chad Ocho Cinco. They are not going to want you on there after this. What you said in this segment might make a few execs a little pissed off. On today's Daily Dallas Cowboys block on first take, Mina Kimes, hot take having Dan Ovlosky, and Chad Ochocinco Johnson discuss C.D. Lamb and why his contract was not done as of yet. They ask Mina Kimes to go, and then they hand the floor over to Chad Ochocinco. That man dropped the bomb. So we're going to take a listen to the three clips that I got for y'all, and y'all know what we're going to do after that. We're going to come back and unpack this raw and uncut. So, Angry Cowboys fans, let's go ahead and take a listen to Chad Ochocinco. Uh, Absolutely. Absolutely, I'm concerned, especially not having someone like CeeDee Lamb in camp when there's there's no security in your number two receiver or your number three receivers. You want your... The market is the market. The market is what it already is. We know what CeeDee Lamb is. He's the top five receiver in the NFL. So the numbers shouldn't even matter because you know where he's slotted. You know where you want him to be slotted when it's time to pay him. I'm not sure what's taking so long, but for someone that's always in front of the camera, always being the center of attention, I think he's probably purposely prolonging the contracts. So we're purposely talking about the Cowboys. (laughs) Oh, boy. I bet that the first take execs were clenching their pearls when Chad Ochocinco started talking about Jerry Jones. That's why they want people to stick to the script, but there'll be some of those opinionated individuals that will go on first take and that they will keep it all the way real. Now, jumping into the next clip, the crew was asked if they could see the Dallas Cowboys winning the Super Bowl this year. Y'all know Chad Ochocinco. He gotta speak his mind when it comes to these topics. So we're gonna take a listen to the second clip that I got for you and come back and talk about it. Roll a clip. Oh my goodness. I, I'd be surprised. <laughs> I, I, I would be surprised because there's an individual that continues to get in the way of the success of that team who refuses to, to take a seat to the back and allow the coaches to coach, allow the players to play, and allow everything to maturate itself throughout a season. Um, he adds too much pressure on the players and the coaches and everyone else around, so it's difficult for them to have success and get to the postseason and be able to focus on the games at hand. <laughs> I love the way that Chad Ochocinco pivoted back to Jerry Jones and how he's in the way of this football team, making it anywhere further than where we've been. I'm glad somebody actually had the nerve to say it on live TV so that it could get back to Jerry and Stephen Jones. People are fed up with the mediocrity. People are fed up with just getting to the dance and getting knocked out in the first round. The players, the coaches, and the fans want more. We won a championship in Cowboys Nation, Jerry Jones. All right, now let's go ahead and take a listen to the third clip that I got for y'all. This isn't a first take clip, Cowboys Nation. It's actually a clip from WFAA's very own Mike Leslie reporting on the lack of fans at training camp and how fans' irritability is showing in the organization. So, Cowboys Nation, let's go ahead and take a listen to Mike Leslie. 
Meanwhile, a storyline that continues to develop over our time here in Oxnard. The fans are just not here at the same levels that they have been in the past. Saturday's opening ceremonies were heavily attended, but other than that, attendance has been very light so far here at training camp. I posted a picture of the lack of fans today on social media, and a lot of the responses were Cowboys fans cheering on other Cowboys fans for not showing up and making a statement to ownership. For an owner in Jerry Jones that spent at least a portion of his State of the Team press conference last week specifically touting the team's uh, season ticket sales, it's a message that figures to resonate. That's a damn shame, Cowboys Nation. Those bleachers look like the bleachers in attendance at a high school scrimmage to keep it a buck with you. Man, let's go ahead and do this. Y'all ready for my raw and uncut? Y'all ready? Let's get it. The fans' displeasure is showing, Cowboys Nation. The fans' disdain in the way Jerry and Steven have conducted business is showing in the fans' lack of participation. From what I hear, training camp is the jump off. That's where you want to be. That's where you want to be in person. I truly want to get to the next training camp next year in Oxnard to give the ACF family some exclusive raw and uncut. The thing is, some fans are done lining the owner's pockets to get the same results year after year. Some fans are tired of spending their hard-earned money on this team not to be heard. You'll hear Jerry and Stephen Jones say in a press conference or something, we hear the fans. Do you? Really? Did you hear us when we were screaming for Derrick Henry or Saquon Barkley? How about Josh Jacobs or Aaron Jones? Did you hear us when we were screaming for you to pay Amari Cooper? Do you hear us now when we've been begging you to pay C.D. Lamb? Do you hear us when we say the price is only going up? Sports analysts say it. Talking heads say it. And yes, your fans say it as well. One thing that hit me from what Chad Ochocinco said. He said, and I'm paraphrasing. He thinks that Jerry Jones is holding on to these contracts to get the news to cover the Dallas Cowboys all the way through training camp into the preseason. I've said this exact same thing, Angry Cowboys fans. I remember saying that on a live with Mark Holmes to be exact. This is the one reason why I said Dak's contract wouldn't get done until August. I figured C.D. Lamb would be done by now, but... I'm also saying August because Jane Slater said August as well. But this is how the Jones family does it, Cowboys Nation. They wait until the last minute to get these contracts done. And I truly believe that they do this so that they can get it circulating through the media so that they could get all the attention. Like I said in a previous video, we weren't talking about the Kansas City Chiefs in the Super Bowl. We were talking about the Dallas Cowboys. We weren't talking about the Kansas City Chiefs winning their second consecutive Super Bowl. We were talking about the Dallas Cowboys. But Jerry Jones, he's a businessman. Over the past 25 years, it seems as if the Dallas Cowboys have been one of the most popular teams in football, yet the most disappointing consider the way the media and the talking heads speak about it. The Dallas Cowboys and the Arkansas oil company that he owns are the most successful businesses that he has ventured in, but he's had a plethora of failed business attempts. So Jerry Jones knows how to make money But not all of his business ventures end in success. Will the Dallas Cowboys be one of those business ventures? But the Dallas Cowboys are in the bottom of the league in spending at number 32 this year. A year where we have a question mark at the running back position as well as the defensive tackle position. During a year where some fans want the franchise quarterback to move on from the team via trade while the majority of Cowboys Nation just wants you to pay your top players, Jerry. You could tell from the picture at training camp, fans are done buying your tickets to training camp only to be ignored in hopes for a championship for this team. Speaking for myself, there's sometimes where I feel I care about this team a little bit more than Jerry does. I know that sounds ludicrous, but as much as this team can move on from a devastating loss, it takes us fans a little bit more time because we're dealing with this letdown for over 25 years. We don't see any of the money that we spend on this team coming back to us. We are the ones who are buying these jerseys and these tickets to these games. We're the ones that are buying the five hats a year and getting season tickets. We're the ones buying expensive hot dogs and beer to watch our team struggle with the run and get manhandled at home. That training camp picture should show the Cowboys organization that fans are sick and tired. It's going to suck when the Dallas Cowboys have their first home game and there are a bunch of empty seats. 
If that were to happen, that would show everyone that Cowboys fans are done with business as usual. This has been your man, the Angry Cowboys fan. I know this is my third video on first take, but I feel that Chad Ochocinco was saying what needed to be said on one of the biggest platforms in sports commentary. What did you feel about it? Let's have an adult conversation in the comments section. If you're digging the content and want to get it out to even more Dallas Cowboys fans, drop a like on the video and share it with your friends who are Cowboys fans. If you are DC for life and wish Jerry and Steven would just get the damn deals done already, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell to be notified whenever I go live, release a video, or a podcast episode. I can say this with confidence. The people in Cowboys Nation love the Dallas Cowboys. We want what's best for our team. We want to see them get to a Super Bowl and hoist that Lombardi trophy. I know Jerry and Steven want the same thing, but fans are willing to part ways with their money to support the players on this team. Are you? This has been your man, the Angry Cowboys fan, and I'm out. Dang, Angry Cowboys fans, you done made it through the entire video. But if you want more content, you can definitely go to this video right here. Or if you want the latest episode of the Angry Cowboys Fan Podcast, you can go right here. But whatever you do, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. But remain DC for life.